What's the crack, boys? Can we rebuild Manchester United and win my league on legend difficulty with you guys picking the transfers? Let's find out. All right, boys, so we are straight in. Every match is going to be on legend difficulty, and we're going to go straight into a match here as we are introduced to the teams. I'm using the current squads, including taking into consideration players that are away injured or with the Asian Cup as well. There might be a couple of mistakes here and there, but for all intents and purposes, we are going with this. And you might notice as well that the graphics, you can see their Luton Town and the proper Premier League logo and the badges for Luton. I have done all this manually all the graphics are manually done you'll see at the end of the video but yeah we're going to be hitting hitting on with this series i hope you guys enjoy it and hopefully it scratches that master league itch for offline content i know my league isn't where it needs to be but we are going to be having different formats of these videos so this video that you're listening to right now is kind of a highlights package where i'm going to have it like multiple games in um, and then I'm also going to be, you know, doing kind of like a roundup of what's around the league, what's going on, and just kind of like highlights of what happened during the game, right? But if you guys would prefer, I'm also going to be doing live stream versions where it'll be my webcam, my live reactions, and playing live, whether I stream it or just record live. So let me know what you guys would prefer. So into the action here, lads, as we go into 12 minutes or so. That was probably our first chance within the first half an hour. Luton kind of playing a funny formation. They're playing three at the back, which I thought I'd be able to get at. But the legend difficulty, lads, as I said earlier, right, I know this is like a Master League light experience. I think that it will eventually morph into what Master League becomes. Um, but I do feel like that this is fun. This mode is fun. I had some really good fun playing this kind of late at night, just chilling out, unwinding, and not really... You know, having to kind of sweat too much, having nice attack patterns. The AI kind of like are a nice challenge as well. Yes, they do some stupid stuff sometimes and they'll just get past you at certain stages where you're like, how did that happen? But for all of kind of the enjoyment that you can have out of this, you can see there again, just to show you guys that shoulder charge exploit thing is very frustrating sometimes, especially when you're playing against the AI. But I thought that they were going to score here on the 50, 45th minute, but we actually get to the half nil all, which was a good result because we didn't have many. Um, and as I already said, these graphics are all done by me as well. You'll see towards the end of the video as well with the standings and the league table. Let me know if you guys do them because it does take a long time to edit these videos. Um, so if you guys are going to like enjoy watching them, I'll continue to do the full season. But if it's something that you're not interested in, let me know in the comments below as well. I'm always looking for feedback and how to improve my content and how to improve what we're bringing to the channel as we continue to grow. And trying to scratch the itch for people that don't want to play Dream Team and open packs and cards with this offline experience. I know a lot of people have been asking me for it. And I do think myself that the live streams and the energy in that, especially if I was recording this live with my face cam and all that, I think would add to the experience. But this highlight package as well is kind of something different if people just want to chill out with it. So they do actually score in the 80th minute or the 78th minute. And uh, that was a nice goal from them. Obviously just bad defending from me. I go all out attack. Uh, Mainu is in midfield. Bruno Fernandes is going to take a touch there. We actually get a quick free kick here. And this is sometimes how you can catch out the AI, boys. You can just take a quick free kick. They don't get back into position. Bruno kind of just pokes the ball into the bottom corner or drives the ball into the bottom corner, I should say. And then he has his celebration as we look to rescue this tie. We don't want to lose games, especially early doors, because we do have bigger fish to fry with no disrespect to Luton. We do have bigger fish to fry, in, including some of the big, big teams in it. But Bruno actually becomes the hero and then he becomes the villain because watch the chance that we get to seal the deal here and get all three points it's a huge opportunity they go short on the free kicks they take a chance uh Mino, who has been brilliant for me and he's not even trained up he actually gets the ball in here it's just a classic counter attack from Palestri who brings the ball past at such pace lovely square to Bruno and on the right foot and he just can't slot at home that would have been a beautiful victory for us boys we would have really rescued it and stolen three points there and to be all to be perfectly honest i probably didn't deserve to win this game you'll notice that i'm using a special bruno card as well so the way i'm going to work it is all the cards that i'm using at the moment are the standard cards apart from one player of the week garnacho and a bruno card 
but it does end a one all we are going to be training up the cards as well as you see here next match we have got a big tussle against arsenal but bruno is given the interview there and uh to be honest he's probably been talked about he's probably been asked about that chance at the end which he should have buried but we do have these cards here you can see garnacho and wambasaka are the club additions and then bruno is the big time and that is it after match day one so fulham beat burnley wolves beat brentford liverpool uh, beat Everton, West Ham beat Sheffield United and then we draw and the rest of the matches are drawn there as well Newcastle and Manchester City, Brighton and Chelsea and as I said I've all these graphics done if you guys think that this looks a lot cleaner let me know because I can continue to make the effort to do it and just make the game look a little bit more polished I think when they add edit mode my league is going to be really fun I think that's kind of what's holding it back at the moment for a lot of people and the fact that you don't have top scorers but we'll work on that we'll have a couple of bits and pieces to come to this i'm going to make this kind of a very interactive type of series so we do obviously get 1100 points there we do have 2000 in total and next up we have got that mighty arsenal now arsenal is going to be a result that we really need here now this is the standard team that we have as I'm showing you guys here, I will talk about these players more in real time in the next uh, video that we do. I think the first two episodes are going to be like the highlight package like this, where the gameplay is just kind of a bit in the background while I introduce what this series is about. So we do actually train up Garnacho there. We've gone for a bit of dribbling and a bit of speed and pace to get him on the wings. He's on D rating by the time I was recording this. Uh, Bruno through the middle is going to be my main player. Bruno needs to be the big, this was the free Bruno card. He needs to be my catalyst for pretty much everything as we saw in that last game, that last episode or that last match there against Luton. If I'm getting chances, you know, attacking midfielders are super important offline, more so than I even think online, you know, because you do get so many chances if you're able to break down the defense. My central midfield is kind of weak at the moment, but mine is a pretty decent card, 67 overall, but he's quite quick. He's quite, you know, aggressive as well which I do like, um, and he's got four progression points there to go, so we just pop him into defending. I think I'm going to use this guy as a bit of a project um, with Ericsson beside him, and of course we've got Casemiro to come back as well, and then we obviously will be able to dip into the transfer window after 19 games. Currently, I'm hoping to do one episode every two days of this. So we do have Arsenal. You can see here again that the graphics don't look too bad, boys, when the licensed jerseys are there, and you've got their nice color scheme. Obviously, they're a bit clashing there, but when you actually get to this screen here, the graphics look pretty decent. I mean, the, you know, it's it's basic stuff, but I do think that there is, you know, hope for what my league could eventually become. You know, obviously both teams wearing these, um, you know, red jackets, the same color. But when it gets to this screen with the licensed jerseys, the player models, I think it looks pretty decent, man. Obviously, I've spent a lot of time playing Dream Team. So let me know what you guys think of this. Are you enjoying this series? Is it something that interests you? And let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the first episode. We'll be back very, very soon with episode two and see if we can take out Arsenal.